welcome back. I hope you're going, we are going to have a better internet connection this morning. Uh, if you are new to the channel, my name is Hoon. My channel is all about making better coffee at home. So, so this morning topic is, uh, let's talk about espresso ratios. So whatever, I know some of you watch my channel for a long time, I always talk about ratios, one to two or one to three. And, and or if you watch some other channels, I think uh, if you watch like Seattle Coffee Gear uh, YouTube channels, uh, they like to pour around two ounces, okay? So they usually put 18 grams in and two ounces out. So I just mix the metrics. And uh, anyway, so you don't want to use grime and ounce at the same sentence, but I did it. Uh, anyway, so you want to be, so two ounces is about uh, uh, 56 grams, okay? Around 56 grams there. So very similar to one to three ratio. So it all depends on where you watch the ch uh, videos or is ultimately is all about your taste, okay? Uh, I used to like two ounce, or around 56 gram, and then lately, in the last couple months or so, I'm really enjoying the one to two ratio. So uh, this morning, uh, I'm gonna do two, two shot, a couple different shots, and then uh, let's find out which one is the best, okay, for my taste. So maybe I can do one to two, maybe one to 2.5, or one to three, you know, so like, 54 and 56 gram reach, so that's about two ounce there. So I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna do another shot for around like 45 gram or so. So kind of like right in between, uh, one to two and one to three, like maybe 2.5 should be interesting. So what I'm gonna do is I already, uh, we're gonna use a uh, Serbia this morning uh, with an each grinder and I have, I have some Colombia beans from Good Brothers. We're gonna use that. And then we're gonna dose out 18 gram. Uh, what else? Uh, so pretty much it. Oh, by the way, I'm using the water from the third wave water. So I think we got everything covered. We got the water cover. We got the grinder cover. So it's gonna be, hopefully we can dye some really good espresso. Okay, so uh, enough talking. Let's get going here, okay? So again, I. I'm gonna be 18 gram. I already dosed out a uh, single dose, 18 already. So I don't have to measure out every time. So I'm gonna time uh, when I uh, start the button. So. Even though niche is a zero dosing, uh, zero retention, but you still have to shake it, get the, all the beans out. Okay, I'm just going to flush out. My port filter there. So it's been warming up for uh, what, last 40 minutes, so it's gonna be nice and hot. Uh, unfortunately, Renturia Serbia does not come with uh, PID, so. There's something I have to deal with. It's called temperature surfing, but. Okay, I got 18 gram in. The filter baskets. I'm going to distribute. Okay, here we go. Just give it a good temp. So this one, we're gonna do 18 gram in and 36 gram out. So it's a one to two ratio. And then we like to, I like to be around 25 and like 30 seconds there. So get our fingers crossed. Gonna warm up my shot glass. Okay. Lock it in. Temperature, this again, I have no idea, but it's gonna be around 200 degree. But I'm not sure yet. Okay, so let's do the first shot first. Let's do the first one. Okay, so I got my scale ready.
I'm shooting for 36 gram. I'm around 35 seconds. Okay, so I have 38 grams. So, and that's longer than I want to be because I, I want to be around 30 seconds, 25 and 30, but so this is kind of like one to two ratio. So I'm, hold on, let me get my spoon here. So here we go. Smells really good. Again, the water, I'm using the third wave water as well. So, so tasting note is a cherry, milk chocolate, and syrupy. It's definitely syrupy. Cheers. Wow, the, the cherry flavor is really strong. But I think I need a dial then. So, okay, so next shot we're gonna do is, so, so that's kind of like one to two ratio, around 36 gram there, more like 38 gram on this one. So next shot I'm gonna do more like 2.5. So I'm gonna try and shoot for around 45 gram. But way to do that is we, you want to be within the same time range between 25 and 30 seconds. So right now I'm grinder setting at number 10 or so on my niche grinder, which means that I have to make that little faster, okay? Which means I need to change my grinder setting to a little coarser. So I'm going to be changed to maybe number 12 on my niche, maybe 12. 12 or 13, yeah, around 12, okay, let's try 12, okay? And then we are going to get the, between 25 and 30 second range there, get around 45 grams of shot. So let's do one more time. So this is more like one to 2.5. Again, uh, there's no magic ratio because it's all about your taste. I know some people like around, you know, one to three ratio, but personally, I really enjoy the one to two. Okay. The one bad thing about using this machine I use a lot of water, so uh, w using third wave water, I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm wasting good water there, so, I mean, personally, I really love to, I mean, I'm, I've been using uh, third wave water when, I, uh, when I'm doing the pour over, so in that case, there's no a lot of wasting, you know, water there, so, okay. So this time, you're going to do uh, more like 2.5 ratio, okay. Okay, let's try one more. There we go. Dane shares he's recently changed his ratio from 2 to 1 to about 2.3 to 2.5 to 1 and find them getting much nice flavors. Yeah, so again, Dane mentioned about Dane recently changed his ratio to what, 2.5? Three to two point four, yeah. So right now I'm doing the uh, two point five ratio. So I got eighteen gram in, around like forty five uh, forty five gram out there. So let's find out here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna lock it in here. Okay, I got my shot scale. Okay, let's do one more. Hopefully we're gonna get the right timing. Okay. So I'm shrink for around 45 gram. Okay, so that's better. Okay, so it's around 40, yeah, 48, 47 gram, or around 28, 29 seconds. So this is right on, right on the schedule. Okay, so let's, 
Let's try this. Okay. Let's try that. So that is more like a 1 to 2.5 ratio. So, cheers. Okay, smells really good. Wow. It's really bright. It's, wow, it's, I can't even taste that cherry, even more so than 1 to 2 ratio. It's, man, it's not bad. It's, this is really good, okay? If you haven't tried like 1 to 2.5 ratio, like 18 gram in, like 45 gram out, 46 gram out, definitely worth trying. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, that's so far, that's really good. Okay, it's really good. So, so I'm using the coffee from Good Brothers. It's called Columbia Patrons, something like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm just make sure everything is clean. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm, I'm wasting a lot of good throw wave water here. Hold on, I'm just gonna... I got some coffee grind beans. With my Brista Express, I usually get a somewhat dry puck, but with the Rancholia Servia, I do get the dry puck, but still, still wet. So, okay, so we're gonna do one more. Okay, so this time we're gonna go to one to three ratio, which means around 56 gram there, 56, 56 gram. So we want to have still same time, right? Between 25 and 30 seconds which means we have to go a little faster on the shot. So right now I'm at around 12 on my niche grinder. So let me show you. So on my uh, niche grinder, I'm at around 12 or so, which means I have to go even faster. So I, I get the still around 56 gram on between 25 and 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna go maybe two more notch, maybe 15 there. There we go. And hopefully, we're gonna get that time. Okay. So, so that's kind of like, so that's great thing about having a like step less grinder. So you have a, a infinite number of changes. If you are using the Brista Express, you, the between like five and six, the one click is huge. So, so that's the one complaint about uh, Brisa Express, the built-in grinder. But other than that, so far there, it's been great. Okay, hold on. I just dropped one bean. Okay, so one bean of copy means about 0.1 gram. So you don't want to waste. Uh, by the way, I mean, if this process is uh, interesting to you, I mean, making coffee is, per, you know, I mean, it's kind of, kind of becoming a hobby. But if this process is really boring, I mean, you know what? Sometimes I just like to use like pressurized baskets. I don't have to worry about the grinder size. So, so you, you do have a lot of options. Okay. I'm just going to heat up my shot glass one more. So by the way, the Rancholia Serbia can be loud, okay? It's not like, it's not a quiet machine. So this one, one to three ratio. Okay. Hopefully we're gonna get the... So, so far, we are right on the mark here. So we've been, I'm pretty pleased with it. Okay, I'm gonna do the same pressure. Okay. So again, I'm looking for around 56 gram. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so you see the light just turns on? Okay. If I brew it right now, it's gonna be 
boiling hot water so we don't want to do that hold on let me remove my portal filter okay hold on a second here oh oh boy see i already messed up here because right now they are boiling the water so if i do it it's, it's going to be scalding hot okay it's really it's not a good it's not a good idea so that's one downside of not having PID. So this puck is Runa one, unfortunately. I'm just gonna have to redo it again. Okay. So now the light went off, okay? So the, the problem with the wrench receiver, if I'm gonna pull the shot right now, uh, you're gonna see this, all the steam is gonna come out. You see that all the steam, you don't, we don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna dose out another 18 gram. Again, with Rancholia Cervia, we do have some uh, limitations. Okay, I'm gonna dose out another 18. I know this is somewhat tedious, but sometimes we have no choice there. Okay. There we go. 18.1 gram. Okay, let's get going here. By the way, I, ho I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning. And you guys are stay safe out there as well. Okay. Just make sure I have portal filters nice and clean. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna just do another quick rinse. Get my scale ready. Okay. Okay, hopefully we're gonna be. Okay, here we go. Okay, come on. Oh no. I think I messed up guys. I messed up the shots. I didn't reset uh, my Akaya scale. Okay. But, so this is about, yeah, that was way too fast, by the way. Either way, that was bad shot, so. So I need to change to maybe 13 maybe around here okay yeah that was way too fast but shot looks good though okay so we're gonna try one more time okay so this is one the downside of dialing in the shot okay that's kind of like trial and error so if you are new to the making espresso at home if you want to get the right ratio Get yourself a big bag of coffee beans, okay? Don't buy the expensive ones. So just go like, my personal favorite is from Amazon is like Lavazza beans, like Super Crema is really good. What, I mean, anything with the Lavazza there, it's about 2.2 pound bag for around 20 bucks. So it's about $10 per pound. So they're pretty decent quality, okay? I'm gonna try this one anyway. It's gonna be sour, okay? It's gonna be a sour shot, but. Yeah, it's gonna be sour shot. It's not that great. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna toss this. This is not good. All right, so we're gonna do one more. So this is gonna be our what, number four? Is that number four? Yeah. Again, we do waste a lot of beans in my house. 
Actually, I do waste a lot of my beans, not my wife. Okay. All the hot water is coming out from there. Okay, so let's, so we just adjust our grinder size to number 13. All right, so let's do one more, okay? We're gonna do eight, another 18 gram. Oh, by the way, the filter basket from China, that one actually you can put 20 gram in it. And the, I tried out this morning, that works perfect, so. The one downside is take a long time to get to United States, but you know what? I think you guys are looking for spare filter baskets, definitely check it out, okay? I got my another 18 gram here. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Okay, make sure I'm gonna shake it well. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this one we're gonna get the right shots. I mean, there's no fun about changing dialing beans, but I mean, I do enjoy it very much. Okay, so. I'm just going to reset the scale. I'm going to one last flush before. Just make sure we have everything is our dialed in here. Okay. Okay. So I'm looking for around 56 gram. I got 60 gram, around 24, eh, more like 25 seconds there. Maybe. So this is more like one, two, like, yeah, very close to like two ounce, just over two ounce. But ideally, I, I like them a little bit more slower though, okay? Which means my grinder should be around, goodness, around two, maybe 12 again. Yeah, I think we're going to get, but this one, you know, looks still decent. Okay, let's try. Let's try that. Let's try that, that shot. So that's more like the two ounce. So that's more like the industry standard. So if you are making like milk-based drink, because you usually put like two ounces of espresso and, you know, the other, what, two-thirds of... Uh, uh, steam milk, so so this is good for milk base. Oh my, cheers. It's good, okay. But I think I prefer the one to two ratio, around like forty-five gram, between like forty-three and forty-five gram range. Uh, one to two is good too. One to two is more like if you want a really strong, kind of like espresso. One to two is fantastic, but one to two point five range give you more, I think more balanced flavor. So that's, I think that's also a very good choice as well. But if you wanna make like milk-based drink, I mean, you know, extract more, around 55 to 60 gram range. But you know, again, this is not bitter or sour. I mean, it's really good, well balanced as well. So these are all good, okay? Especially I'm using the third wave water, bring out more flavor in the coffee, so. If you guys like espresso, definitely check it out. Anyway, that was like, you know, long drawn out process, but you know, I know once in a while, it's fun to kind of like play with it. Uh, try on weekends, you know, maybe trying to find your uh, ratio for yourself, you know, play with one to two, one to three, 
even one to one. I know some people like you know Ristrato. I think Ristrato is one to one ratio, so it could be fun. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take some questions. It says, um, have you ever looked at varying the pre-infusion time on the Breville, say from five to fifteen seconds, using manual mode? Oh, uh, someone asked me about the have I, have I play with the pre-infusion mode on Breville? Yes, I have. Actually, I did one video. I pulled a shot just using the pre-infusion mode. Man, there's no channeling. His shot was beautiful, and um, Teso is really good too. So yeah, you could. The good thing about the Bravo manual mode, you can have the pre-infusion mode long as you want. Not long as you want, but you know you can go pretty decent amount of time. Mr. Thomas says, "I want to know anybody who managed to get a sourless yet not bitter shot with one to two ratio." Someone, uh, Mr. Thomas. Tom, Mr. Thomas, say what? Want to get one to two ratio with no sourness? Yeah, a sourless yet non-bitter shot with one to two ratio. Oh, oh, wow. That's that's some. Uh, Mr. Thomas wants to know get a one to two ratio, which means like thirty six gram out, no sourness or no bitter. I mean, you could you can just play again. There's something you have to play with. It's all about the beans, okay? Beans and water temperature or dosing amounts, so you can change the different flavors. They got literally thousands and thousands of coffee roasters out there. They have their own method to roast their own beans. So uh, it's, it's tough, okay? It's tough to, it's all, it's all up to you to make your perfect cup of coffee. So, so, so far, I like the one to two, around like 45, 45 gram out. So, Maybe that's what I'm going to try from now on for the next couple of weeks, see how I like it. Okay, anything else? Um, yeah. It's By the way, so one bad, th I have to tell you, one bad thing about Rancholia Servia, their drip tray is tiny, okay? So, hey, let me show you with that. So this, so so far we put about five different shots there. Now my drip tray is four, okay, four. So, I mean, if you if you guys are looking for a bigger drip tray, I mean, this is not the one. Yeah, so that's the one complaint with my Rancholia Servia, the drip tray side as uh, size as well, because with my Brista Express, they're pretty decent size. So, okay, hold on, I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna take this one out. Again, it's already full. So you gotta clean this. I mean, if you're making like four, four shots maybe, make sure empty out your drip tray. If not, it's gonna be overflowing. Okay, anything else? Are we, any? My wife's going through some questions right now. Oh, it's half, okay, so they're really fresh. So uh, like, for example, so this one uh, from, okay, so this one, uh, Good Brothers roasted on December 3rd, but it's been stored in my, you know, very uh, dark and cool place for a while. I just opened it a couple of days ago. So whenever I open it, I use within a week. So because if you're not planning on using it for a while, you can actually freeze the beans, okay? Uh, James Hoffman did a great video on that. You can freeze your beans, uh, stay, uh, stay fresh longer. And if you happen to open it, and I usually put on my vacuum seal. So this is uh, my body roast for me about three weeks ago, well, two weeks ago. So it's been vacuum sealed as well. So whenever, so this is, I opened it three days ago, so it's pretty fresh as you saw on the, the quality of the crema. But again, I mean, you wanna use, you know, fresh, fresh as bean as possible. So if you want a good, you know, good quality coffee. Does the 20 gram basket fit in the normal BBE pour filter? Does 20 grams fit in the basket of the normal BBE pour filter? What do you mean? Uh, okay, so. 20 grams in the normal BBE pour filter. Basket. Okay, so. If you're looking for Bre uh, Bre uh, Brista Express filter baskets, the idea, uh, okay, according to their website, you can put about 20 grams in it, okay? But the problem with 20 gram, 
if you are using the darker roast, the 20 gram is overflowing, or overflown by, uh, from the pori filter. So, because we are based on the weight, okay, not, not by the value. So 20 gram, coarser, you know, darker roast, if you dose, uh, dosing out, it's gonna be about here. So you have to pack it down. So yes, so it does fit 20 gram baskets, but you know, it's gonna be a little messy. So this filter basket I got from China, uh, this one fits 20 gram very comfortably. And with a Brisa Express, you have to work at it. So, by the way, so this is 54, millim uh, 54 milli uh, millimeter filter basket. Most commercial grades comes with a 58 millimeter. So, so this is a 58 millimeter. You, you could buy, so this is 18 gram basket here. You could buy like even 21 gram, 22 gram. I know some baskets out there, you can get a triple shot baskets too, so it all depends. But with Brista Express, you are somewhat limited. How do you avoid static in your niche? How do you avoid static in the niche? You know what, actually I don't. I'm, I just, I just using my dosing cup and just tap it. And then, you know, everything's gonna fall out pretty nicely, so. Because I tried the RDT, the Ross Droplet techniques on that many, many times. I mean, for me, that's more hassle than I'm not getting, you know. So that's why I never direct those from here, okay? I never do it. Because it, the static is going to be really bad. So it's going to be all over, even with uh, RDT method. So I always using my dosing cup. What do you do with the dried out coffee pots in the knock box? What do I do with the dry out? So, uh, I usually recycle it, okay? And uh, I have the, I mix with my soil outside of the house. I do that once in a while. I mean, most, I mean, actually I'm thinking about, okay? Uh, come up with a recipe that you can use the, all the dry puck. I know some people use it as a skincare product. Uh, I heard that it's really good for facial scrub, so. I'm gonna do some research on it. Maybe come up with facial scrub. What kind of roast do you prefer? Someone asked me what kind of roast I prefer. I like medium roast. So my family likes milk-based drinks. So they like, uh, so for them, I get them uh, espresso blend. Comes uh, coming from maybe Colombia or so. Very rich chocolatey flavor. And I like to drink just the black like Americana or pour over. I like uh, single origin, like Ethiopia or Costa Rica is fantastic. Sumatra is also good as well. So it's all depend on the, my family member. LL says, could you put a link for the baskets? I couldn't find it yesterday. So LL Kure say, you cannot find the, I'm gonna put the link again, okay? Uh, it's from AliExpress and it's about 10 bucks. It's $9 for basket, but yeah, I'm gonna put the link again. Purchasing fresh roast or 540? 540. SR 540. What's that? Do you suggest, I think it's a coffee bean. Do you suggest purchasing the fresh roast SR 540? Someone asked me about the SR 540. I don't know. I, it, maybe it's the coffee brand there. Yeah, I think it's a coffee Okay, brand. so I mean, it's all depend on you guys, okay? If you, if you have like local roaster nearby you, uh, just get it from a local roaster. I know, not in Tucson, though, my buddy in Texas, in Austin, um, he told me that he can get a pound of beans for $8 per pound, okay? Freshly roast coffee. So it's all dependent on your area because in Tucson, the pound of freshly roast coffee, you are, I'm looking at 20 bucks. So I usually roast it at, at home. So I do have a coffee roaster, so uh, I roasted at home. If not, I know I work with the Good Brothers Coffee. He sent me some beans once in a while. I know a lot of you out there, a lot of my viewers are kind enough to send me some your local coffee beans. So yeah, but again, you want to use freshly roasted coffee. That's the best. Um, are you adding a PID to the Sylvia anytime soon? Someone asked me, am I adding PID? Yes. Uh, 
So our PID is, I think that's the best in the market. So I'm planning on working on getting a PID for this. It's gonna be, it's gonna give you a better temperature control. So that's definitely in pipeline. Okay, so a setting is good for 20 gram in. I was using five inner, 12 out, and it was fast today. Yesterday did it and it wasn't sour or a bit slower. What did I do wrong? Okay, so for Linda asking me about the grinder size, that's something you have to play with. Okay, if you're again, if a shot is too fast, finer grinder setting. If too slow, you know, the coarser setting. That's a, you just has to play with the setting as well. And just make sure your water temperature is stable, which means just make sure warm up your water for, you know, good, warm up your motion for good, like, you know, 20, 30 minutes. And yeah, but again, that's something, that's something you have to play with. I, I wish I have the uh, answer for you guys, the perfect grinder setting for particular beans. But mine changes every single day, okay? Especially what I'm using niche grinder with Rancherlia Servia, because the beans, bean quality changes every single day. So each day go by, it's gonna get dried out. Yeah, so you wanna use, you know, freshest coffee beans, but make sure, you know, willing to adjust every single morning. If you want the good espresso, if you're making milk-based drink, you know what, it doesn't make any difference. You're gonna mix with the milk and sugar anyway. Someone says, so what ratio is better? Someone asked me about the what ratio is better. Uh, it's all depends on you. So now, I mean, I like the one to 2.5 ratio. Yeah, I, I really like it. Uh, 18 gram in around like 45 gram out, 40 to 45 gram. Yeah, that's really tasty. Really tasty. How often do you empty your puck bin? Do you find it leaves a smell? I empty my, someone asked me how often I, I empty this thing out every single morning. So I empty it, I clean it. Yeah, I do that daily. And then Mike at the beginning said that So was, Mike from San Diego? Yeah. Okay, ask me, let's see. He was saying he's having a hard time getting notifications. Um, so Mike asked me about, uh, you guys, have, some of you having a hard time getting a notification. I don't know what's going on with YouTube lately, but I, I, I check my settings as well, okay, so. He says he's unable to select his channel for notifications for some reason. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know why, because my channel is pretty boring channel, so they have, you know, there shouldn't be any restriction on it, so. Because I looked at all my settings and my settings are fine, so. I'm, um, what else? <clears throat> Martin from Denmark. Says, Martin from Denmark. What temperature do you recommend for Sage Barista Express with fresh French roasted beans? So, so Martin from Denmark asked me, uh, what's the good temperature for fresh, the French roast? Okay, French roast. I, there's no, okay, French roast beans it means that they are dark roast. Okay, so I go with. I think the Sage Brista Express is the same as Brista Express. Especially darker roast like that, I go with maybe minus two instead of a default temperature. Try that first. Mr. Thomas said a plus two. So Mr. Thomas likes a plus two, okay? Because try both. Try plus two and minus two and see which one you like the best, okay? Again, just have fun with it. So especially coffee machine like Brista Express, you can change the temperature so easy. So yeah, just play with, you know, plus two and minus two. Find out which one, you, which one you like the best. Is there a roast date on Amazon coffee? Is, uh, someone asked me, is roast date on Amazon coffee? All depends on what kind of coffee beans you get. If you buy from like uh, Pete's coffee, has roasting date on it. But if you buy like Lebaza coffee, those big bags there, they have the best use dates. So. It's all depend on what kind of bag you're gonna get. I mean, those beans usually about a month old. Um, that's it I think that's it for now. So, so let's again. Third wave water. So far, so good. 
but I definitely I do not want to use with my Rancholia Servia. I put the full tank in it earlier today. Let's see. I'm pretty much empty. So because I do a lot, I do flush out. Okay, imagine if I'm using uh, making latte on this one. Two three shots. I mean that goes you know so. You figure each package is about $1.25 there for third wave water. And then this third water is about a buck, so $2.25 per gallon. I mean, I go through a gallon pretty easy. So, but again, I mean, if you think about it, if you go to a coffee shop, your latte costs you $4. So, and then a gallon of third wave water is $2.25 for the long run. You know, you still save a lot of money making great coffee at home. So it all depends. But yeah, it can beat the, you know, making coffee at home. I mean, if you are thinking about getting espresso machine, just go with, you know, I think I have tons of video on Bravo Brista Express. And that's one of my favorite machine out there for the entry level. If you guys like the good espresso or long black, I mean, eventually your Serbia is my top of my list. And uh, let's not forget the Gaza Classic Pro as well. They're also fantastic. But make sure you get a good grinder too. So grinder is also key. So, in, but again, if you guys want to take on new hobby, coffee is fantastic. Coffee is great hobby. Are beans that a month old that are a month old bad? Someone asked me, is beans a month old coffee beans bad? No, it's not bad. I mean, but you know, let me show you. <clears throat> I got some bonus feature for you guys. So, I think for 50, 48 of you out there, thank you so much for watching this long. It's about 42 minutes in. So this is a Starbucks house plan, okay? And uh, so this is about a month, well, it's more than a month old. And plus, so this one is already a month old. I opened about at least a month ago. And then I bet you they roast these beans at least a month and a half ago for sure. So this is like two months old. You know what? I'm going to dial then. Okay. I'm going to show you guys what this one tastes like. So I'm going to be using my Rancholia Servia and my niche grinder. Okay. So it comes to grinder setting. You know what? I'm just going to set at number 10 for now. So yeah, let's find out. It's going to be interesting. Okay, got my scale there. So again, so this is about at least two months. By, by the way, the, if you smell the Starbucks coffee, actually any uh, store-bought coffee, they're very oily. Okay. And then all the beans are, are shattered. It's not perfect, okay? You see like tiny bits here, you know, uneven or broken pieces. I mean, the bean quality is not the same as, you know, freshly roasted coffee, as you can see. Not the best. Not the best. So I'm going to do 18 grams. Oh. Uh, Dane asked me about the Lillette. Yeah, I, I looked at Lillette. They're, they're fantastic machines. I mean, can't complain on that. Okay. Is, is it Dane? Are you still looking at to buy Lillette Bianca? Yeah, he's <clears throat> oh, he's waiting for it. So Dane is, Dane is looking to buy. Actually, he's, he's waiting for his Lillette Bianca. Okay, so I'm going to put 10, uh, I got 18 gram dust out here on my okay so this time so we're going to the starbucks copy beans
I'm not a big fan of darker roast, but for you guys, here we go. I'm just gonna shake it. Okay, I'm gonna dispute. As you can see already, it's a lot darker than uh, other roast, medium roast coffee. Okay. So I'm looking for again, uh, let's do like 1 to 2.5 ratio. Lock it in here. Comes to shot time. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get between 25 and 30 seconds. Okay. So this is Starbucks coffee. Okay, I'm just going to wait till everything is all set to zero. Okay, still fast, okay, so which means I have to adjust the grinder around 50 gram, that's fine. But again, you see that very lack of crema. I mean, so, you know what? I'm gonna try anyway, okay? Just for the sake of the video. I mean, smells. Smells, okay. By the way, I don't want a bad mouth Starbucks, okay? Without the Starbucks, there's no, there's no specialty coffee. Kind of like Starbucks kind of paved the way for a specialty coffee. So, I actually wish you thanking them as well. Here we go. Cheers. Okay. It's not, if you guys like, if you guys like good espresso or good black coffee, uh, St Starbucks is not the best choice, okay? Starbucks is not the best choice, but uh, if you want to have like good, I don't know, good strong, kind of like the you know, coffee flavor you guys are used to, get black coffee, put sugar and milk in it, I mean, that, that's not a bad option either, okay? So, I mean, again, so milk and sugar take care of everything. So it doesn't matter what kind of beans you have, after that, it tastes pretty much the same. Uh, so if I'm going to dial it in one more time, we're going to get the perfect shot. But I don't think the espresso taste is not going to be any better. So I'm not going to do that this time. You see, again, so I mean, that's the difference between freshly roast coffee versus uh, store-bought, even like Starbucks. Or coffee. Um, you cannot get the crema you want or the flavor or those profile. Because they blend, uh, Starbucks blend with a different type of coffee bean, so you're gonna get pretty much the same flavor. Any questions there? Um, what scale do you use and would you recommend? Someone asked me what scale I use. I, u I use a couple of different scale. Okay, I use my uh, G dealer scale from Amazon. They're only about 15, 16 bucks, fantastic. So this one, I use that for my shot, uh, shot timer. This is Akaya scale. Uh, not cheap, but do I recommend it? If you have extra money, definitely I recommend it. If you don't have extra money, go with this, okay? And then get yourself a timer. Just fine. I think we are good this morning. Okay, so let's see. Tomorrow morning, uh, I'm going to do some couple. Of, I know Mr. Thomas. I'm going to shout out to Mr. Thomas. He sent me this... Uh, Gadget, not the gadget, but a little bit of a rubber piece pad. I think it's really good for sitting on my top of my scale there. I like that. I know also, Orman Beer sent me one package as well. We, hopefully, I'm going to open that tomorrow morning for you guys. And then I'm going to do some more. Uh, I think I'm getting some freshly roasted coffee beans coming this week. So I'm going to uh, review that as well. And then I'm, uh, tomorrow, I'll go back to... Uh, probably Express as well. So, you know, make some different kind of coffee. 
I've been playing with a different coffee recipe as well. So, and my goal for this year is we are going to find the perfect cup of coffee. Okay. So far, everything is good, but I, I want that espresso that really sweet and really kind of like chocolatey and sweet and that kind of espresso. So hopefully we can find it this year. Anyway, make sure to follow me on Instagram and see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, but hold on. I think we have one last question. I have the Barista Express right now. The pressure currently is rather high. Coffee tastes okay. I use milk. Should I use a more coarse setting to get it more towards 12 o'clock? So, Mike. hey, Mike has the Barista Express has a higher pressure gauge, the pressure setting. You know what? I get that too. I get about between 1 or 12 o'clock, get the right consistency. I mean, if you go with the like 12 o'clock range, it's way too fast. So, uh, best for that is try that. You can try it and then see what that tastes like. And then you adjust it there. Sometimes you, you don't have much choice to adjusting that setting. So, uh, by the way, uh, I think one of my viewers, I forgot the name of it. Uh, that person sent me a video on how to change the overpressure valve. So you can actually adjust the overpressure valve on Brista Express to get the nine bar pressure. But I'm, not, I'm a little hesitate to do it because there's no easy way to do it. With the Rancho Lina Silvia, you can actually change the overpressure valve. Uh, there's a, a right, met, uh, right method to do it. So I'm still waiting for that uh, pressure gauge. So I'm gonna find out exactly how many bar of pressure is getting. And then I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, change the overpressure valve on Rancho Lucia. Anyway, uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, and see you guys tomorrow morning.